six hours to pick it up, six hours back. I will say, these are so much more planted than the twos were. Like, even in the rain, I drive like a dumbass with this. I have not had it spin out on me once. A Q50, I would have been dead, bro. Really? Honest, even an all-wheel drive Q50. Yeah, I think it's sweet. Alright, so we're gonna strap this on the dyno in a little bit and see what it makes completely stock. Alright, we got it on the dyno and we're gonna strap it. Hi, Kyle. Did you get that from the Kuntao box? I found this on the side. So real quick guys, just want to show you guys something. Just like most Q's, uh, Q50 and Q60's, when you strap a car from the con uh, lower control arm, it will touch the exhaust. So what we do, we have these <laughs> heat shells from, uh, I think they're stock, uh, um, Nissan Infinity OEM upper downpipe heat shields, or maybe from the turbo, not sure, but we put these in there and we strap it down and then we're going to do the same thing on this side looks great hello Mo what's up man Nice. No! Oh. <laughs> my red sport. Are you saying my red sport looked ugly? I don't like the logo. You you know this. You don't like the race <laughs> box logo? No, the green one. I'm sorry, <laughs> please leave. Here's your car. Uh, give me the tune back from it and leave. The emblem. <laughs> the emblem. Wow. I thought you didn't take that it. fucked up. <laughs> no. Kyle, give me a card. We messed up. Give me a card. What else is new? You don't work with friends. <laughs> Take this too. Say that again? Huh? Say that again? I want to see 900 on that. Jeez. Won't happen, but I'd like to see it. Did you build a motor? It's a stock. No. I'll do another one. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. We the best we ever saw in a Red Sport was 375 in like much colder weather. So to see 367 on a Z is pretty pretty nice. It lines up with what other shops have been dynoing. If anything, either our Z is a little underpowered from factory versus other ones, or our dyno reads low or whatever. But everything I've seen out there has been between 370 and 380 on the stock Z. So I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, uh, looking forward to see what we do with mods on it. Yes, sir. Well, we dynoed it yesterday to get a baseline, but I would like to log a baseline and get another baseline today right before I tune it. We're still bone stock, no mods on it. We're just going to toss a tune on it, see how it does. I'm expecting good numbers out of it because our customer, uh, Chris uh, Zilla Full Boost on YouTube and Instagram, has an identical one. He has a white performance out in Florida, and he made like 430, I think, on just 93 on a bone stock car with a tune. So I'm expecting to be around there. Uh, but I would like another baseline for today so we have, you know, back-to-back -back runs and we can compare it. Wow. 
I'm actually going to delete these from last time because we're going to get a new baseline for today. So that's the new baseline for today. Uh, we made 370 horsepower and 373 torque. Flashing again. Uh, it's almost done. Yeah. So we pulled the car off the dyno and we we're Did gonna do a nice do, little drift on the way out. Yeah, we're uh, gonna do a quick street log in Houston traffic, obviously. Of course, because okay. 4 30. There's n we're no going to see our time. friend Rudy at Texas Tires and Parts. Oh, of course, the Amazon truck doesn't want to go. So, disappointed with the numbers, to be honest. I have done better on Q50s and Q60s, um, but you know, it's luck of the draw with was the motor. Was it 400, 460, 450 torque? Uh, it was like, I think we made 480 yeah. torque on one of the runs. Yeah. Torque was fine. It was the, uh, top, the end. top end and the mid range was crap for horsepower. Um, I do know that these have smaller turbos. I'm just disappointed because I know that Chris's car made more and I was hoping that we would make around what Chris's car made. I mean, I tuned both of them, right? So. Uh, bone stock. It's disappointing. It's not below average though. Like the 400 is usually what we tell people when they're like, oh, what can I get tune only on 93? Oh, so. But yeah, so a little disappointed, but I think once we open up the restrictions, we'll be okay. Cause the main reason it wasn't making power, uh, the car was making like 11 pounds of boost up top and we just couldn't get it to make any more. Uh, so the next step is definitely removing this pea shooter stock exhaust. Uh, disappointed that in uh, well, I was gonna say Infinity that Nissan didn't put a bigger exhaust on these cars from factory. They gave it a nice sound with like a different muffler, but um, it just it's they're like 1.75 inches at some points of the exhaust. It's tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna do a four inch single exit. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, three inch true dual Y. Uh, well, not true dual. Three inch Y to uh, to a four inch single. That's the plan. And the reason for that is we like to run. Um, Three inch true duels on, on VR30s. Uh, that's what we found makes the most power on, you know, um, stock turbo, upgraded turbo, whatever. And we do have plans to put full frames on this car later. So uh, definitely want to plan for that. So we're going to go for a four inch single exit. Uh, we'll put in the three inch intakes that I have. We have these really cool powder coated ones that my boy Jose made for me a while ago. Uh, they're green powder coated, they look sick, they sound good. So we're going to toss those on the car. Um, and then I think this week we're going to do the inner chiller, right, Alex? <laughs> Alex hates it because I make him do all the inner chiller installs. Yep. By the way, quick plug, shirts or oh, yeah, our website. Uh, let, me, let me get my modeling clothes on. Yes. Perfect. Anyways. So the shifting, I will say this is not as does not feel as good as a ZF8. Yeah. Uh, even a stock ZF8 without XHP doesn't it feels way better than this. This is this is all right. The downshifts are not crisp at all. Uh, the upshifts are much better. Uh, the line pressure bump from our torque tables and all that definitely helps. Um, but it, you know, I really hope that we can get a transmission tune for these cars because that's what we were lacking on the VR30s. Um, and you know, we're definitely lacking on this car too. Like, see, that was such a lazy upshift right there. I don't know if you guys heard it. Okay, let's give us, give ourselves some space. Maybe we can do a pull right and get up. Okay, let's try third. Ready? Do a low. Yep. Let's see if he's here. 
I don't know. You tell me, bro. You got all the nice What are you talking? You have two cars. How much money in cars do you have? Right here. Not a lot? Oh, I can move it. We'll block it. Oh, no. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an auto. He favors the auto. Yeah. Uh, go drive it. You don't want me to drive it. How much power do you just put down? Made 400 to the wheel, so it's enough to drift it. Oh, God. Yeah, he wants to drift it. He said he ain't Do it right here. Don't you do, like, wild shit in your parking lot all the time? Bro. I'm not going to drift. I can't afford this. I mean, you have the opportunity. You might as well. I'll tell you what, brother. I am not drifting. <laughs> you put yeah, little... nothing different? I mean, other than the strut tower bar. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Send it. Right well, just do it right here, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, he said yeah, put my glasses on. on. Bro, we got warranty on this. Tomasi needs to say brand new. It's got bad, bad tires. I've never even sat in one or anything. Hey, you have a natural handbrake, though. So. Oh, Unlike the uh, <laughs> cues. We're gonna break the axles. <laughs> oh God. Are, are you regretting this now? Little bit. I trust Rudy mostly. Oh God, is traction off? Or you, le you left it off, right? I don't know. I think it's on right now. He'll turn it off. He knows where to find it. I hope so. What the fuck are you guys doing out here? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I know now. So on the You're broken in for autocross, it's perfect. I don't, does it have blow-off valves? It does. It does? Yeah. They seem a little late. That's yeah. what it was. So like when you let off the throttle, it still pushes. Oh no, that's that's the tuning. All VRs do that when they're tuned. Really? Yeah. Six not 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 the six M2s, but all the autos do. That. Okay, I still felt that. I was like, man, this does not feel like and then once I figured it out, it was like this thing's still like and ramping it, up. It holds it a little bit, especially in the mid-range. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> yeah. See, I thought it was like a boat feeling at first. But no, it's because I thought it's still yeah. on the throttle. Yeah, did you like it though? It definitely has power. Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah. yeah this, is, this is just tune only. We're going to put probably open down pipes on it tomorrow with an intake. See what it does. Dang. And then we'll do an inner chiller on it. Make sure it stays cold. Yeah. I know a person that does inner cooler. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could do air and air, but... The inner chillers are really appealing. Put one on the Audi too. Yeah, it looks good. We got you on video. Post it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna look sick. <laughs> 